and welcome to episode 35 of the Youth Squad Legends series with AFC Wimbledon. Man, every single episode at the moment has its own stories. <laughs> so in between last episode and this episode, I have not been able to sleep. When I lay down, I cough so viciously in some circumstances that even if I'm asleep, I'll wake myself up. Oh, and this was going on until 11 a.m. this morning when I was given a bottle of really, really strong cough medicine. And it finally did the trick. From midday to 2 p.m., I slept. That's usually like a bad thing, but at the moment, I'm treating it like a victory. So even though I promised it, I, I think you're kind of aware that the comment section has once again been put by... But just hear me out here, yeah? It's near the end of the season, so how about we just finish this season and turn a new leaf? Is that the right phrase? Start afresh. Everything else is going around in my head like 10,000 miles an hour. Let's go. We got five games left of the regular season. Two points behind the MK Dons. Coventry next up. Why is Aconquo always tired? It's the pacey front four out there for us today. AFC Wimbledon against Coventry City. We have been in this situation before. Last season was the most remarkable of promotion stories. After my recent experiences, I have totally removed the shooting assistance on the AI, or extra shooting assistance as Beckett gets in the way. Onwards, Callum! Oh, keep on your feet, Callum O'Flattery! Run! What a player! <laughs> he is unreal! Once he gets into full stride, it's like, what can you do? Big save, Enzo Body is front post distribution. How about that, son? I mean, I like pace as much as the next person, but what I'm doing right now is flat out pace abuse. <laughs> but not sure with the second. Who played that ball? Was it Adam Nichols? MK Dons are 2-0 up against Colchester, so that's three points in the bag for them. Their kitch is miles, miles out of his position. Bondarchuk! Run, Bondarchuk! You know what? It's a great first touch, that, to be fair, and he'll get another goal for himself. If I was disgusting, I would have passed that across because it would have guaranteed it. But you know what? Boris Diopovic has had enough goals this season. He's finally back feeling like Kirill Bondarchuk after that weird, weird spell where he couldn't find the net. 3-0 AFC Wimbledon. Nice and easy. Cruising along. MK Don sounding like they're doing the exact same. They're 3-0 up as well quite literally trading blow for blow might be on side oh nothing that ends or body can't fix I Bekic has been a little bit suspect. It's your man, Sifa Mandler and Lovu. MK Don's now 4 0 up. Time for us to score a fourth then. Stiopovic! I'm pretty sure the goal difference between the two clubs is seriously close. Bright Chateau. Oh, beautiful. Eccentric Bright Chateau. That's not meant for Bondar, Chuck. Leave it out, mate. <laughs> They've scored a fifth. MK Dons are 5 0 up. It's Ryan Twine who scored. What? Come on, Dalabor and Enzo. Oh, what a player. Now that the AI have got uh, no assisted shooting, look how good Enzo Bardi's been. Oh, wow. Well, they've just given it to Callum O'Flannery, and the rest might be history. Callum O'Flannery's gone. He's gone, mate. Oh! Full time. AFC Wimbledon 4, Coventry City 1. Pretty sure that this is our final midweek game of the season, so rotation here. South End United against AFC Wimbledon. Go, you! Rotherham are beating MK Dons. Well, if one of your favourite players is out here right now and you didn't think that he might have a say in the promotion race, well, think again, because with Rotherham beating the MK Dons, we only need to grab a win here and we'll be back in second place. Oh, Conquo! Right on cue! That's good. That's good. How has Jan Albrecht still got this ball? Oh, he's missed it. Let's get this corner kick right. To Goose Zwinkles. Oh, yes. Sock is Savan on the edge. Man, I, I just envisaged that top corner. 
I thought he'd put that into his own net. Would there be any way back for Dan Cohen after that? I know he's got a great name. Schneeg, Billiard! Schneeg has decided he's had enough and has pushed the uh, play up by at least 40 yards. Schneeg is still going. Oh, Schneeg! Schneeg! Okonkwo! Can we get another? Oh! Oh, Schneeg. Oh! The touch from Schneid! Just allow it, mate! I would have taken another long shot with him! Well, Southend were terrible. Rotherham United 2, MK Dons 1, which means only one thing. Schneid and a Conquo have put us into second place! I really have no idea why this is a press conference game. Stiapovic against three tiring centre-backs sounds like a disaster. Oh, and a fresh Callum O'Flannery. That's a foul. Callum O'Flannery down, free kick to us. This is the moment. We are actually going to score a free kick. Position's right, the spin's right. Oh! That'll do! It's Renny Reno! You know, I put into question the Blackpool defender's fitness, but they've been playing a very deep line, which has really helped them. It really hasn't been easy at all, but we have managed it well, and we could get a second. Yay! Eric Melville! It'll look a bit easier than what it was. Through the 90, it was a nervy, nervy game of football. Full-time, Wimbledon 2, Blackpool 0. Two games to go. Sunderland on 99 points. We can hold them off from getting the 100 until the last game. If we can somehow beat them at the Stadium of Light, our last game will be at home against Grimsby. That's a gift. I really don't want any other goal news. Playing Southend United away. I think they might get through that. Sunderland against AFC Wimbledon. Massive, massive game. Oh, yes! Go on then, Callum! Go on, son! Cut inside, Callum O'Flannery! He'll pass it! Oh, Boris. Schneg? Mm, has to somehow deal with that insane defending. Not a great clearance, but still amazing defending by Juan Schneck. Literally is just the centre backs back there and everybody else is attacking. It's a very dangerous game that we're playing. MK Dons are currently beating South End 1-0. The 60 minute mark and neither team has had a clear cut chance. Very, very good by the defenders so far. Oh, I said things way too soon, didn't I? Okay, all right. Well, that's turned everything on its head. Ah! Right, Melville's gone. Yes, right. This is a chance here. Melville is well on his way. A Conquo at the back stick. Yes, a Conquo. That's a finish. Let's go. There's a crack finally appearing in the armor. We might be going to some more last minute drama. Oh. He's offside! The flag's up! The flag's up! It's a corner kick to AFC Wimbledon. Oh, Schneeg had a free header! Bright Chateau! That's a wonderful ball! And I that mean the defending there! And we get a replay of the Schneeg header. Just not enough conviction. There is no winning goal here. Sunderland won AFC. Durante's outfit is a joke. AFC Wimbledon won. It was a 1-0 victory for the MK Duns. Oh! And so, with one game left, we are third. One point behind the MK Duns. Three goals behind on goal difference. They've got Blackpool at home. There's no hope. Oh, Schneeg. Final game of the season, or the regular season, because it's potentially playoffs after this. AFC Wimbledon against Grimsby Town. Eric Melville. Yeah, easy. Boris Stiapovic. Yeah, he's, he's going to score that. There's a goal. There's a goal. Blackpool are leading MK Duns! <laughs> out, out, out. Oh! Wright has been credited with the goal. It's definitely a Beckett own goal. What would be a kick in the teeth is if the news came through that MK Dons found an equalizer before we scored a second. A Conquo! Yes! I don't know how he got it, but that's fine. A Conquo! A Conquo! Oh! Eric Melville is having terrible deja vu at the moment. Oh, never mind. MK Dons have come from 1-0 down to be 2-1 up, and the game 
didn't bother telling me. The wind has been taken well out the sails. Still try and find a winner. Yeah. Oh, a Conquo! Oh! Players are deflated. I just need a winner in this one. What if Blackpool did get an equaliser and we somehow weren't capable of putting these guys away? Django swinkles right down the middle. Django! <sighs> oh, that's killed it. MK Dons a 3-1 up against Blackpool. Go on, Boris. Boris again. Oh, what? Well, the absolute gift turned into a right banana skin. We could have got five. Easily could have got five. But it's turned out to be a 1-1 one, one draw here. The MK Dons automatic promotion with Sunderland. And we are going to have to go through the playoffs. Teams in the playoffs, Wickham, Coventry City, Peterborough and ourselves. So the season is not done. You're going to have to wait until episode 36 to see if we get promoted. This has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. I will see you next time.